In this video, we will show you how to connect VoiceFlow to Airtable database. Airtable is a low-code platform that allows users to create custom databases and applications to support their team's workflows. It's designed to be flexible and powerful, accommodating a wide range of use cases, from content calendars and product roadmaps to event schedules and company goal trackers. Airtable's core features include workspaces, bases, tables, records, fields, and views. Workspaces contain collections of bases, which are akin to folders containing individual files. Each base is organized into tables, which are distinct groups of data. Records are individual items in a table, and fields store rich custom details related to your workflow. You can create an account with Airtable, and set up a table with your data following the instructions. Now let us go to the Voice Flow Canvas. Here we have a pizza bot with a dynamic carousel, which has been shown in our previous video. In the middle, it is an API block to connect to an Airtable database, and fetch the product data from there. Let us take a look at the first text block. It greets our customers. The next are two buttons for the customer to click. One is to order a pizza, the other to end the conversation. If the customer wants to order a pizza, the bot asks if he would like to see the special pizzas. Then we provide two buttons, yes and no. If the yes button is clicked, it will go to the API block to fetch data from Airtable database. We choose the get request. Then, we place the API URL of Airtable here. The first part is a common part for Airtable API. The second part contains the database ID and the table ID. We can get the IDs from the URL of our Airtable. Here is the table containing all the product data. Let us look at the URL of this table. The database ID and the table ID are highlighted. We will use them. Let us make a copy. This will let the Voice Flow API to call the specific table on this database. Let us go back to the Voice Flow Canvas. We are going to paste the database ID and the table ID here on the second part of the API URL. In the headers section, we need to put the authorization. We put a bearer and personal token. Next, let us get the personal token from our Airtable account. Click the icon and the developer hub. We will see our personal access token. We are going to use the data from this table, so we will need the token of this table. I have already generated a token for this table, but we will get a new one. Click here to regenerate the token. On the pop-up window, we click the Regenerate button. We can see our new token. Click to make a copy, and then the Done button. After we get our new personal token, we will go back to the Voice Flow Canvas. Now let us paste our new token after the bearer. This is the only key value pair we need for the header. Next, let us do a test. Let us click the Send Request button. In the pop-up window, we have the 200 OK status, which means the API call has been successful. The data has been stored in the records. This is an array containing all the rows of the data. Each row has ID, create time, and fields. We are particularly interested in the fields, which store the product's name, content, image, etc. It is the same for all other rows. We will save the data in a variable and we can neglect all the rest so far, because the records are what we need. In the capture response section, we use the response.records to get the data from the air table. We save the data in a variable called all types. Next is a JavaScript block to prepare the parameters for the dynamic carousel. We have a variable to store the cars array. We have the getCard function to accept arguments and generate cards with parameters, such as name, content, image, and buttons. In the for loop, we loop through all the data rows. We extract the product name, image, and content and save them to their corresponding variables. Then we feed these variables into the getCard function to generate cards and push the cards into the cards array. Finally, the JSON string if a function convert the data into a JSON format. After the data preparation, we move to the next custom action block. We enter the carousel as the name. In the action body, we select JSON and place the variable here which contains all the data in JSON format. We enter pizza selected as the default path and turn on the stop on action. In the next JavaScript block, we set the variable order type as last event dot payload dot pizza selected. In the last text block, we confirm the customer's order with this variable and say thank you. Finally, let us do a test run to see how everything goes. We click here to start the test from the first block. Click the button to order a pizza. Next, we click the yes button to continue. The bot is making an API call to fetch the product data from Airtable. The carousel is displaying all the pizza products obtained from the Airtable database. We click to order a buffalo chicken pizza. 
Finally, the bot shows the confirmation of our order. This demo shows the VoiceFlow API has successfully fetched product data from the Airtable database and displays the products in the dynamic carousel. Let us go over the API block one more time. We use the get request and put the Airtable URL containing the database ID and the table ID. In the headers section, we place the authorization with a bearer of our personal token. These provide access to our Airtable database. After the successful API call, we get the data in response and save the data in the variable for later use. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.